In this case study, you will perform buckling analysis of this pipe support in order to determine buckling factor of safety as well as critical buckling load. This pipe support is fixed at its bottom and a load of 9500 Newton is applied at its top face. You will also learn how we can extract different mod shapes of buckling. So first of all, download 3D model of this pipe support from our video description link and open it in SOLIDWORKS. So start our new simulation study, click on simulation tab and click on new study. And from here, advanced simulation select buckling. Give a specific name to this study that is buckling of pipe support. Okay. After that, assign material that is alloy steel to this pipe support part. Alloy steel. Now make its bottom fixed. So go to fixtures and click on fixed geometry. Then select this fixed this face and OK. So we have applied a fixed fixed boundary condition on its base. After that, you will apply a load of 9500 Newton on this curved face. So go to loads, select the force and from selection option, select this face and then select the selected directions. Select front plane for reference directions. No. So apply direction load and y axis. Assign a value of 9500 and reverse its direction. You can change the load symbols and increase the load symbol size. Okay. So right click on the buckling name of the buckling analysis yesterday. Go to properties and from here set number of buckling mods that are 5. Okay. Then you will create a curvature based mesh from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh. So mesh is being generated now. So mesh has been created. After that run your simulation study and wait until your solution converge. Please subscribe our channel and if you have any queries you can ask us in comment box. So you can see our simulation study has been completed now and here are the results and the result type this is the amplitude or deformation shape for first mod this is for second mod, this is for third, fourth and fifth. So if we want to check the factor of safety or load buckling load factor for first mod, click here, here. you can see the buckling load factor is 16.4. If uh, you right click on the results and list buckling load buckling factor of safety you can see the buckling factor of safety for each mod so here is the concept that is 
that first book link load here is the reference book that the first buckling load factor is always smaller than the other buckling load factors and for any given load it occurs first therefore you can calculate the buckling load or critical load when the model can start buckling by using the first buckling factor of safety so in this study the first calculated buckling factor of safety is 16.4 Here in the definition of buckling load factor, the buckling load factor is the ratio of buckling to critical load or to buckling or critical load to the applied load. So buckling load factor is equal to buckling load divided by applied load. So if the buckling load factor is greater than one, the design is considered to be safe. And if the buckling load factor is equal to 1 then buckling starts to occur in design so if the buckling load factor is less than 1 the design is considered to be a failure and buckling begins to occur in the design our next step is to calculate the this buckling load this buckling load can be calculated by multiplying applied load with buckling load factors. So, if we open a calculator, you can remember that our applied load was 9500 Newton and the first buckling factor of 60 is 16.4 so just multiply by applied loads with first safety factor so this is the buckling or critical load at which your buckling will start Here is the calculations. Let's calculate the buckling load by using the following formula. Buckling load is equal to buckling load factor cross applied load. So 16.4 into the applied force that is so 15 1 lakh 55,800 Newton is the calculated buckling or critical load when the pipe support when the pipe support can start the buckling so i think you have learnt a lot from this tutorials please subscribe your our channel and give comments for further improvements thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video take care bye bye